If you're overweight, a man and over the age of 40, studies show that you are at higher risk of getting a bad night's sleep. It's called obstructive sleep apnea, and it affects not just your health, but others' health as well, especially if you snore, too. Finding a cure, though, has been elusive. There are reasons for finding a good night's sleep. They're getting more critical to your health. If you snore or gasp for air overnight, chances are you're not sleeping well. And if you're not sleeping well, you're at all sorts of health risk. Heart attacks, diabetes, and now studies show even osteoporosis. It goes back to body systems needing, needing rest to refurbish, if you will. Uh, I think that's going to be one among many things that eventually will sort of come into focus. Last week, he performed the first San Antonio Inspire surgery, implanting sort of a pacemaker system to prevent that choking sensation responsible for so much bad sleep. Most sleep apnea treatments have to do with keeping the tongue forward so that the snoring isn't so loud. This technique actually stimulates the tongue as opposed to surgically moving things. Some of Dr. Brown's patients like Dawn are considering the surgery and a good night's sleep finally. I've tried CPAP three times. Times. I've done the APAP, I've done a mouth device, even tried the pillar procedure. Nothing's worked, but Dr. Brown is optimistic that Inspire will become the go to procedure for tired folks. Just being able to have energy during the day and exercise and pay attention and concentration issues won't be an issue anymore. So, uh, I am excited. It's really exciting because for if you're a long-term CPAP user, which many people with sleep apnea are, and many of whom have had surgeries, this is a, a, a nice alternative potentially because you may be able to get rid of your sleep machine altogether. Something a lot of people would like to do. Now, this implant procedure was approved by the FDA last spring. We'll find out if the first local patient to get it finds some relief from his apnea. And just, it's, it'll take, I guess, another couple of weeks before we know for sure.